Let's talk about price lists in Sprout Studio. A price list is a collection of all of the things that you want to offer to your clients or to a specific subset of your clients. A lot of photographers that use Sprout Studio will actually have several different price lists. They'll have one price list for their weddings, they'll have a different price list for their portraits, and maybe even a different price list for their commercial clients. So you can have several price lists in Sprout Studio and it really helps you just stay organized and make sure that you're billing the right thing to the right clients. In a price list, you have prints, products, services, digital files, and packages. And let's kind of walk through each one of those individually. Prints are physical prints. These are things like uh, fine art prints or flat prints or canvas gallery wraps or wood prints, things that you're actually gonna be holding in your hand that is a print. A product is some other physical item that you sell. For example, a wedding album or a portrait book or a folio box or a tote or some other physical item that's not a print. A service is just another categorization of a product. A service is basically just a non-physical item that you sell. So for example, hourly coverage or retouching fees or travel or a second photographer, so on and so forth. And digital files are downloads, digital files and images and downloads that you sell in a gallery. And a package is basically a combination of any of these four items, as well as a quantity and then a package price. Let's kind of walk through each one of those in a print. And again, you can have multiple print types. Uh, so you may have a framed print and then a canvas print and then a fine art print and then a flat print. In each one of those, you can specify sizes. So you can have different sizes for different prints, for example, a four by six or an eight by 10. Maybe for a canvas print, you may not offer a four by six. So you can choose eight by 10 and larger. You choose eight by 10, 12 by 18, 16 by 24, so on and so forth. For each of those, you can also specify as many options as you want. And these are all custom. So you can create a paper option and maybe a frame type option. And for each of those, you can add what's called choices. So maybe you have a luster paper and a fine art paper. Maybe you have an espresso frame type and a birch frame type. So you can create all of those for each one. So in a canvas print, you may wanna have a thick canvas or a thin canvas. You may wanna have a wraparound option or a not wraparound option. So you can have all different kinds of options in here so your clients can purchase exactly what they're looking for. For each type of print, you specify your styling and your design. These are things like your marketing language for it, your uh, communication, how you wanna display it, what it looks like, the visualizer settings. If you wanna add reviews from your clients, you can. And then for each combination of size and option, you have a price. So if you have three different, two options here and then you have sizes, you're gonna have a four by six luster espresso, a four by six luster birch, a four by six fine art espresso, a four by six fine art birch. And each one of those can have its own price. And you can specify all that when you're building your price list. And you can do that for every kind of print that you have. So that's the sort of print ecosystem that you can set up in Sprout in a price list. Products and services are much simpler. You basically add the product, for example, an eight by 12 wedding album, you set a price, and then you can also specify the styling and the design settings for it, the marketing language, the display settings, reviews that you wanna add from your clients, and you can add as many products as you want in there. Digital files also similarly are much simpler than prints. You basically can specify what is your price for an individual image and what is your price for an entire gallery of images. And then of course in packages you can build collections of these. So here's the price for five digitals and 10 digitals and 20 digitals, so on and so forth. Speaking of which, let's move into packages. Packages, you can create as many packages as you want. And this is where you add as many items in it from the items that you already have in here the quantity of that item, and then the overall package price, coupled with styling and design options as well. And you can have as many packages as you'd like in here. So a lot of folks will have this set up to have, you know, wedding package one, wedding package two, wedding package three, or they'll have portrait package one, two, and three, or they'll have digital package one, two, three, so on and so forth. You can have as many of those as you'd like. Now, all of that is the configuration of your actual prices and your settings and all of that. And then it all gets prettied up in what's called the shop. This is something that is a visual representation of your price list. So when your clients are in their gallery and they click shop, 
this is what they view. If you send this to a client, your public pricing guide, this is what they view and see. So this can just be a collection of all of your items and it's just built as a bunch of sections with each item represented within a specific section. You can have this automatically built. So as you are adding prints and products and services and packages and digital files, they're automatically added to your shop if you just wanna keep it simple. Or if you wanna go into what's called manual mode for your shop, then you can manually drag and drop your items in here. And so new items that you add up here will not be automatically added. So it gives you a lot of flexibility to have this layout um, way that you want, have a design way that you want, and only show the items that you want in your shop. And that is the overall price list infrastructure in Sprout Studio.